Hello again. Welcome to this new and easy tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a splash vector face logo from raster images like this. As you can see, the final result will be completely a scalable vector. Also, at the end of the tutorial, you will get a simple trick that enables you to export this vector from Photoshop to Illustrator. Please like this video to help us, and let's get started. Step 1. Prepare your image. First step. Please check your image size, and make sure that it's between 2000 to 4000 pixels in width and height. If it's not, please change your image dimensions, then click OK. Now, using any selection tool, go and select the part you want. In my case, I will use Quick Selection Tool. Start selecting your object. You can hold the Alt key to switch between the plus and minus selection tools. After making your selection, click on the mask icon to make a layer mask from your selection. As you can see, I have a sharp edges. I need to make them smoother. Just right click the mask and choose Select and Mask. In some Photoshop versions, you may find it as Refine Mask, or Refine Edge. Simply, increase both Smooth and Contrast. Change Output to Layer Mask. Then click OK. Now, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate your layer. Right click the top layer's mask, and choose, Apply Layer Mask. I need to apply the oil paint filter on this layer. You may find the oil paint filter here. Or under Stylize menu. But since a lot of Photoshop users, complain about this filter, as it is not working for them. I have made a simple alternative oil action, that will give you a good result. Please download it from the description below. Now, Let's import the action. First, open the Actions panel. Just click on Window, then choose Actions. Click on this little icon, then choose Load Actions. Double click the action to import it. Open the action, and select Run. Then, select your layer. After that, Click on this play button, to run the action. Wait a little bit, until the action completes. As you can see, you will get a sharp oil effect like this. That's it. Let's move to the next step. Step 2. Convert the previous effect to a vector. In this step, I need to convert my image to a black and white solid colors. Just select your layer, then, create a threshold layer. Change the threshold level to a reasonable value, depending on your image. Keep both white and black colors in balance. In my case, I used 108 threshold level. I want to increase the details in this area. To do that, just create a new layer, above your layer. Right click it and choose, Create a clipping mask. Now, pick the brush tool. And change your brush to soft round. Decrease both brush opacity and flow, to about 15%. Change foreground color to black. Then change your brush size, and start painting over your layer like this. This will reveal some black color details. Let's speed things up. Also, you can switch to white color, to reveal some white color details like this. Now, let's add some splashes. Just create a new layer below your layer. Pick the brush tool. 
You can download these brushes for free, from the description below. Increase both brush opacity and flow to 100%. Change foreground color to black, and change your brush size, then paint like this. Choose another brush and repeat, until you get a good result. You can right click to control, both brush size and brush rotation. You can press Ctrl plus C, to undo a step. Pick another brush. Repeat the previous steps. That's it. Select the threshold layer, then press Alt plus Ctrl plus Shift plus E, to merge all visible layers into a new one. Grab the Move tool. Then, with any layer selected, go to Select, and choose Color Range. From the Select menu, choose Sampled Colors. And with the Eyedropper tool, click on the black color to pick it. Increase fuzziness to 200, and make sure that invert is unchecked. Then click OK. This will make a selection from the black color. Now, grab any selection tool. Then right click inside your selection. And choose make work path. Change tolerance to 1.5 pixels, then click OK. This would create a path like this. Without clicking anywhere, create a solid color layer. This would create a vector shape layer. You can pick any color, then click OK. Let's compare the vector layer, with the raster layer. This is an optional step, don't do it if you want. First, create a white color layer, below both layers. Then, align both layers, next to each other. This is the raster layer, and this is the vector layer. Now, select both layers, then press Ctrl plus T to transform them. Make them smaller, then press Enter. Again, press Ctrl plus T, and make them bigger. Press Enter. As you can see, the raster layer is blurry, and lose its quality. But the vector layer doesn't lose anything. Extra tip. Export vector to Illustrator. Now, with your vector layer selected, pick the Path Selection tool, and select the path like this. Press Ctrl plus C to copy that path. Then open Illustrator, and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Choose Compound Shape, then click OK. Now, double-click this little icon, to fill the path with a color. Choose any color, then click OK. Now, you can edit the final result as you like. If this method does not work with you, you can go to File, Export, and choose Path to Illustrator. Choose the path from the drop-down menu. Then click OK. After that, save it with any name. And you will get an Illustrator file like this, that contains the vector shape. That's it. Please like the video to help us, and subscribe for more free tutorials. Thanks for watching.